Earthbed. Good day learners, this is Earth Pen. Another video means another topic to learn. And this time, we'll proceed to the discussion about domains and kingdoms of the living world. From what we have learned in the previous video, we already knew that Earth is the home of approximately millions of species. And each species is identified, named, and classified with the help of binomial nomenclature with an affiliated scientific name in every species. But the classification of organisms is beyond its scientific name, beyond the genus name and specific epithet. For many years, scientists only classifies the living organisms into two categories. The eukaryotes, which consist mostly with multicellular cells, and the prokaryotes, which is also mostly consist of the unicellular cells. But the main difference between the two is that the eukaryotes are organisms that has a true genetic material or DNA, while prokaryotes do not have a true nucleus in their cell. Instead, prokaryotes have a regular shaped nucleoid containing a genetic material that is arranged in a single cellular structure, plus the fact that they lack membrane-bound organelles. Examples of prokaryotes are bacteria, blue-grain algae, and spirochids, while eukaryotes are composed of the most living things such as animals, plants, fungi, and protists. By the year 1997, an American microbiologist named Carl Richard Woese, together with Ralph S. Wolf, and with the help of the advanced developments in molecular taxonomy, they have introduced the third domain of life in addition to eukaryotes and prokaryotes. By then, the new system in classification of living organisms is divided into three domains, dividing the category of prokaryotes into two. The new domain categories are the following. The domain eukarya is for the eukaryotes with true nucleus. This is mostly composed of multicellular living organisms like animals, plants, fungi, and protists. The domain archaea is for the bacteria-like organisms that usually live in extreme environment. The cell wall of these organisms does not contain peptidoglycan. The domain bacteria is for true bacteria organisms wherein the cell wall of these organisms does contain peptidoglycan just like the eukaryotes. Now that we have identified the domain categories that classifies the living organisms, let us now go to more specific category in which what we call as kingdoms. Biologists before started to classify living things in only two kingdoms, kingdom animalia for animals and kingdom plantae for plants. Then on the late 19th century, they started to recognize that some organisms do not completely fit into the description of plants and animals. By that, they created a five kingdom system which caters the kingdom animalia for animals, kingdom plantae for the plants, kingdom monera for bacteria organisms, kingdom protesta for the protozoans or the single-celled eukaryotes and algae, and kingdom fungi for mushroom, molds, and yeasts. Among the five kingdoms, it is only the kingdom Monera that accommodates the prokaryotes or those that lack true nucleus, and the rest of the four kingdoms caters the eukaryotic organisms or those with true nucleus. However, with the introduction of the third domain, where prokaryotes are divided into two different domains, the kingdom Monera was also divided and replaced into two kingdoms which makes it now a six-kingdom classification system of living organism. The six-kingdom classification is composed of the same four kingdoms, starting with kingdom animalia for animals. They are multicellular organisms that hunt food or other living organisms for survival, like other animals and plants. Kingdom plantae is for the plants. They are also multicellular organisms that has chlorophyll and produces their own food from the sunlight 
or what we might know already as the process of photosynthesis. Kingdom fungi is for the organisms that does not move yet absorbs nutrients for survival. This kingdom includes the mushroom, molds, and yeasts. Kingdom protesta is for the single-celled eukaryotes or organisms with true nucleus. They usually live in moist environment for survival and mobility. Then since the kingdom monera is replaced and divided into two kingdoms, these two are kingdom eubacteria and kingdom archaea. The kingdom eubacteria is for the single-celled organisms without a true nucleus. This includes all bacteria as well as the cyanobacteria and the ones found in yogurt. While the kingdom archaea are bacteria-like organisms that usually survives in extremely harsh environments such as deep ocean thermal vents, hot springs, and ocean floors. But with all the discussed organisms, remember that there are still organisms that wasn't included in the classification. This is because they are considered as organism but they do not meet the characteristics of a cell or a living organism. Examples are the viruses, the prions or the proteinaceous infectious particle and other non-cellular entities. And that is all for now. I hope you learned something from us today. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.